initiating launch operations. The action in the movie is what you would have dreamt to see when you were 11 years old. It is really, really a great adventure movie. In the very near future, creatures start emerging from the sea. They are so huge, so brutal. We need a weapon that can react and grapple with the kaiju. We rig the entire sets to vibrate, to shake, to give you the real perspective of what it would be to be inside that robot. Every movie has to have a portion of analog practical effects to really convey the sense of physical reality of the film. In Pacific Rim, we built the head of the robot and the resulting set between the rig and the construction was about four stories high. This entire set would shake and would be able to drop 15 feet really rapidly for the drop of the head. The actors were in for a ride. It was like a little amusement park simulator. The easiest thing would have been to put green levers on their arms and their back and their feet and have the actors have a complete free movement. But I felt that you needed something with resistance. So we had a piece of machinery that was a couple of tons in weight in their backs and in their legs and in their arms. You've got a suit on, you've got a harness underneath. Your feet are on these platforms that actually move the robot's legs. While they pour 200 gallons of water on us a minute. We needed to waterproof incredibly deadly, dangerous currents of uh, electricity. I invented a torture machine. I thought the great thing about the fights would be for them to exist in a larger cockpit like a pilot in a tank in World War II. If you put them in a small thing, they, it, somewhat it feels snug and it feels safe. But if the pieces of the walls are being torn, if the floor is being shaken, if the windshield, so to speak, is smashed, all these things are give you an interaction that is more immediate and visceral that they would be able to react to the impact. So every time they were fighting the kaiju and they would throw a punch, the whole set would throw that punch with them. And when they were being hit by the kaiju, the whole set would rock backwards with them and really, really shake them. I wanted to be a movie that was very, very intense during the battles, that you felt that they were real, that they were happening. It will put you right there in the pilot seat. It will make you feel what it is to suit up, hook up, and take the robot for a ride. Pacific Rim.